don't play with me, don't play with me. Da da da, da da da, and we're back on Box Twenty Nine News. If you don't like news report, we can box right on Twenty Nine. You spill my beat the fuck right out of you niggas. It's wrong, you with your boy Chair Mac instead of backpack and said that gad is a couple racks and all that. Mm -hmm. Brother, like I'm the <laughs> please. Niggas ain't. However, I don't do this with like, comments, and subscribes. I do it because I feel like it. It's fun to the motherfucker. It ain't been fun the last couple days because I ain't been doing it. I know that niggas like, what's going on? News heaven every day, nigga. You'd have missed a thousand things. I know I'm going through stuff that don't nobody give a fuck about. You understand what I'm saying? But me. However, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. We at. Mr. Hood Tolly P. If you don't know who Mr. Hood Tolly P is, he is actually a well known rapper in the city of Philadelphia, a driller, stepper, stop remover, and a pusher. Pay me, Skrilla had his arm wrapped around him, so he's actually a bipper, too. Matter of fact, he's in the song Bipper. However, I've been waiting for you for a long time, nigga. All the crazy and the nonsense. You done said you done did and you do this and you do that and I said it's no way he telling us he do all this and he's not getting locked the fuck. Yeah, I couldn't wait to see you here, nigga. I don't know what he got to say. However, let's find out. And to you. Hey, I see the fuck going on. I'm chocolate chilling. Niggas know who unit it is. Niggas running that shit. Oh, all right. He said he's sitting back eating chocolate chip cookies or something. Nigga, we got chocolate chip cookies on the street. Dude, let me see. Hold up. I think we got some chocolate chip cookies in the cabin. Hold up, nigga. Nigga, we got chocolate chip cookies in the cabinet, nigga. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Shit is stupid. These niggas do all this drilling, stepping, stomping, moving, pushing just to go sit on the block and say we got chocolate cookies. Oh, oh my God. Ha, ha, ha. Now, I ain't the smallest thing in the world. I ain't never been to Harvard, Yale, none of them institutions and but if y'all niggas did all this, drilling, stepping, stomping, moving, pushing, bipping, for some Bockley Bip bookies, oh my God. Congratulations, nigga, you made it. Nigga, you made it. I'm so glad. I'm so proud of you niggas. With it. They got you. Hopefully, you better pray to whoever you pray to, the devil, whoever you pray to. Ask that nigga, don't let them connect none of that you be saying to that shit you been probably did. Yeah, don't let them intertwine those. Please don't. When you better talk to them. Ask that nigga, please. If you did what you didn't said you did, don't let them niggas find out. Because if they do, and I hope they do, I'm going to pray to the nigga that I pray to. I'm going to say, nigga, get them. I hope they link it together and Larry Kraft will slap the fuck right out of here, stupid ass. You boot the ass up Phoenixville, Smithfield, Campville, Forest, Rockview. One of them recreational centers. And when you get there, go see the little bucks. I heard y'all niggas got a little problems. You feel me? So, and you. I ain't worried about nothing, nigga. Ain't about one fuck with me. We gonna bump eventually, you heard me? Mm-hmm. 21 with the butt. Ah! <laughs> what? What did them niggas even say? This is what I'm saying, kids. Homies are flunky. The homies are flunky. I don't even know niggas say, oh, he said, mm hmm. He mm -hmm. said, I don't know what 21. He said, ah, 21. What? Maybe that was gang code language or something that I didn't understand. But it sounded like trash to me. However, 
when I was a kid, they probably was hyping my stupid ass up in jail. So like, yeah, you my man, cool, my man. No, I wasn't cool. I was actually bored to death, mad that I'm up, ready to go the fuck home. However, y'all think this is a game. Y'all like it? I love it. It ends in you. You a big bro, real shit. And he's sitchy. I think he said he's running his movie in the jail cell. Well, Mr. Hood, Tally P, I'm going to let you know firsthand, I'm glad that's where you decided to shoot the movie. You know what I'm I'm so happy for you. Safer for you, safer for my kids. All the kids, not just mine per se. All of them. So, yeah, go ahead and run your movie, nigga. You can be the director, the executive producer. You can be the writer. You can be the star. You can be whatever you want, nigga. When you get the Phoenix, Bill Smith, Phil Camp, Hill, Forrest, Rockfield, one of them recreational centers. Call us, nigga. Let us know how the movie going, nigga. What's going on with the movie? <laughs> F is wrong. In other news, we at an innocent bystander. <laughs> Nobody was uh killed or nothing. However, we have a mother on No Gun Zone. Shout out to No Gun Zone. Who was saying her son is innocent. Problem on his legs is like it says, my son is facing false charges against him for four attempted murder charges. What? Oh, huh. four. Man, stop playing. My mom would have never, ever, 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 came on Instagram like this. Four. Was it a, was it a quadruple shooting? That's the only way my mom would say, hey, my son ain't do that. If it's four separate incidents, I'm going to stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. You telling me after they thorough, extensive, microscopic, goddamn investigation that these niggas came and said, this man, they just shook your head. You know what? We just going to find out who did this right now. Stuck their arm in there and grabbed your son's name and said, yeah, he did him. That's what you're telling me. I got, I got, I got booked for attempted murder before. Two of us did. Two of us out of three. Guess what? They had the right niggas. Yeah, they had the right niggas. We was lying trying to get the fuck out. Yeah, they let my ass out. My lie was good. I had a good ass lie. You can go to my, uh, of a YouTube page if you want to hear that story. However, I can't get down with four attempt those. Four. And to you, he's got a, he's family oriented and has a heart of gold. People won't step up on his behalf, but I won't quit on you. Lord protect him and free the shackles. No weapon form shall prosper. He's facing. Oh, I want all that noise. Stop playing. Part of my dyslexia, I'll read this over here. My life as a teen wasn't easy at OR. We're we not going through that. No. It was nobody life easy, sir. We're not going through none of that. We're not giving you no excuses. You talking about you ain't there for? Where you from? Yeah, where you from? Let me figure something out real quick. Who you be hanging with? What's your friend's name? Tell me your friend's name, and I'm going to figure out some, some stuff real quick. You understand what I'm saying? However, I, I don't know if you're guilty. They say you're innocent until proven guilty. When you're really guilty until proven innocent. I'm going to say, nigga, you probably know that you look this much what they talking about. If you don't know nothing, they talking about you know this much what they talking about, nigga. Because they ain't just say you. That's what I know. They ain't just say you. This ain't the 1964s where they just say whatever they want. This ain't Emmett Till time where they can just say whatever they want. No, nothing going on. No, they got to prove this. So, you don't know nothing. That's what you're telling me? Now, I hope you get off if you're innocent. If you're not, I hope Larry Crash just slap the f Right out of here, stupid ass. You boot ass at Phoenix, Bill Smith, Phil Camp, Bill Forrest, Rock, you. One of them recreational sinners. However, if you didn't do it, f is wrong. In other news.
Where we at? Strong face, wrong face. Strong face, wrong face was accused of raping two children under the age of 13 years old. You grown, wrong face mother. Look at you. There's no way you should be around kids. First of all, let's start with that. I'm not letting this run like it. The face down here and up here at the same time. Mother got Botox, plastic surgery, and an air pump in his face. <laughs> Whatever the kind of face it is. You think I'm about to have this. First of all, it's scary than a mother. If this knocked at your door, 10 o'clock at night, boom! I swear to God, you wouldn't know what it was. I wouldn't. However... Pardon my dyslexia as I get through this. It says an LG T activist has been arrested and charged with allegedly raping two children under the age of 13 years old. And Philadelphia police say Philadelphia police say 37-year-old Kendall Stevens of the Longcrest section of the city was arrested on Monday. They're going to put the S word. He is charged with two counts of rape, indecent assault, endangering the welfare of a child, corruption of minors, and a slew. Of related charges. Stevens, who was a man, <laughs> became an activist <laughs> after a mob attacked him inside his home in 2020. His bail was set at 250000 His next court date is stated December 29th. In a couple days, you get to go to court. I hope Larry Krasn in there or one of his assistant district attorneys. One of them niggas going to come see you. However, they usually let these type people walk. This is why we can't like fall to the to the craziness. This man got a whole situation in this situation. You feel me? Whole, you feel me? Nothing you're not. Nothing you're not. Better. My kids. Why y'all trying to make this normal for this to be around kids? We gotta blame everybody. Y'all thought this was cool. This nigga don't know what it want to be. He came out here and said, yeah, I think I'm the wrong thing. Went to somewhere else. And then start using the thing that he had first on little kids. Do it make sense? It made sense to me when I just said it. I don't know if it's going to make sense to y'all. However, I think you deserve to be shot in your face. I don't even know what I was saying because I got interrupted by that thing. However, I was saying, nigga, stop playing. Y'all want to stop acting like this is normal. This was never normal. How are we going to normalize everything in the world? Everything? This nigga better not show up in the bathroom with my daughter. The bathroom going to be lit. Boosh, 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 What is he going to bathroom with my daughter for? Because you think in your brain, in your brain, you said you a girl. But in your thing, you know how to rape little kids. Larry Krasner, do your job, nigga. <gasps> Fuck is wrong. In other news, we at Crash Dummy, Crash Dummy, Crash Dummy of the Week. And this week's nominee and winner of Crash Dummy of the Week is Tone again. <laughs> Tone actually loves to crash out. He don't have nothing to do. He has no job. He has no life. He has no aspirations. He has no dreams. He has nothing to do in the morning. That's why he's willing to crash out. So quickly at 30 years old. However, I'm just going to read it. I'm going to tell me, give y'all the rundown first. Tone was trolling. I guess he would say it's called trolling when he do it. He was on the live with me, walking down lodge and Smitey cashing out. I believe they was trolling. I don't know. Out of nowhere, I don't remember the conversation verbatim, but Tone said, yeah, get, get Mugger, man. I beat Mugger the f*** up. They were talking about boxing, though. They was. However, I didn't hear from Mugger that day. Mugger went, I guess, a couple days ago, yesterday or something, and started trolling him back. Like, whatever. I forgot what he said. So he tagged him a couple times and some shit saying he's a weenie. Basically. This is Tone's goofy ass response to us. I'm going to zoom in and say it said, dog, niggas keep disrespecting me. And y'all keep saying I'm acting like a nut. Fuck out of here, yo. When I smoke one of these niggas, we gonna see what's funny then. Y'all niggas always trying to come for me. 
fuck out of here with all that goofy shit. Y'all let motherfuckers come at me. I say something, I'm on weird shit. If you see your homie not in the mood, why come at him more? That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Mikey said, this is Smikey Cash now. He said, crash, bro. Let the wheel go. That's what you want to do? I'm going to watch. Right on 29th Street, you feel me? Nigga said, everything's a fucking joke. Weird ass niggas. No, you're the weirdo. Because you're trying to crash. However, in the next slide, he says, I don't care about none of that. That's, no, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mikey said, bro, we don't want no smoke life, dude. Take it out on life. Tighten the fuck up, bro. Real shit. Why you willing to take it here to show up because you're not a bitch, but you're not willing to go that far to get no money? You were about the wrong <laughs> He said, no, don't want to play with my head. I really don't care about shit right now. I will smoke something, sleep good, and I'm really on that, on everything. <laughs> Keep playing with me, what these niggas gonna be dead? I swear to God, and I'm not playing, nigga. We like tone, shut the fuck up. Nobody care, nigga. What you talking about? So then he called the attitude with Lodge, cause Lodge is a mugger friend. I mean, Lodge like I cop out. He like you can't cop out, nigga. I'm on my way. We like tone, chill out. Whole time tone just wanted the Snickers. Nigga was hungry. I told him, you got to do better. You understand? You cannot be out here crashing out for Snickers because you hungry. And let me just show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all lives. Like, no, I don't want no smoke. And he's like, I got smoke. Look, here go lives right here. Well, I talk about. <laughs> Yo, they told you I copped out, right? He told stop right me, you weird folk. You do all that for the motherfucking or the gram, but the energy be different with me. <laughs> he said, I didn't even say it. <laughs> I'm going to show you what a bitch is. <laughs> oh, angry as shit. I came at you like a homie, but you want to disrespect me. Last, I did not call you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you acting like one. You and Mugga both. He said, you and your man a bitch. Watch your mouth. Yo. He said, stop talking to me, cuz, real rap. Y'all think I'm turkey. I got y'all. What else Tom got to say? What else you got to say, Tom? <laughs> he told all right, my bad. I don't want no smoke. He said, I don't think you a turkey, though. No, you think the joke. Tom is on crash time. He is copping out, Tom. He said, no, I don't. It's cool. I got you, player. We gonna see what's funny. Everybody gonna see what's funny. Tone, you know what's really gonna be funny? If I call, you getting locked the fuck up and getting put on box 29 and Larry Krasner and slap in the fuck. Right out of your stupid ass, you boot ass of Phoenix, Bill Smithfield, Camp Hill Forest, Rock, you. One of them recreational sins, but when you get there, don't call me, nigga, because you called me too much and I've been told you was crashing out the film. So kids, please, do not be like none of these niggas on the show, especially not talking to a 30 year old crash, I mean, who cannot get it together. He don't even care. He don't have no athletes, no dreams, no nothing. He actually likes to die. He actually has a suicide mission. He's trying to crash smooth. The fuck out because this is the show the crash dummies making. So this is Box 29 News Review Link News Report. We can box right on 29 Street. I beat the fuck right out of you niggas. Fuck is wrong with you. Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me.